Blessings on you, noble queen, queen of Oedipus, crowned with all her noble family. Blessings on you always. And the same to you, stranger. You deserve it. Such a greeting. But what have you come for? Have you brought us news? Wonderful news. For the house, my lady. For your husband, too. Really? What? Who sent you? Corinth. I'll give you the message in a moment. You'll be glad of it. How could you help it? But it costs a little sorrow in the bargain. What can it be with such a double edge? The people there. They want to make your Oedipus king of Corinth. So they're saying now. Why? Is an old Polybus still in power? No more. Death has got him in the tomb. What are you saying? Polybus dead? Dead? If not, if I'm not telling the truth, then strike me dead too. Quickly, go to your master, tell him this. You prophets of gods, where are you now? This is the man that Oedipus feared for years. He fled him, not to kill him. And now he's dead, quite by chance. A normal, natural death, not murdered by his son. Dearest, what is it? Why call me from the palace? Listen to him. See for yourself what all those awful prophecies of gods have come to. Who is he? What can he have for me? He's from Corinth. He's come to tell you, your father is no more. Polybus, he's dead. What? Let me have it from your lips. Well, if that's what you want first, then here it is. Make no mistake, Polybus is dead and gone. What? Murder? Sickness? What killed him? A light of the scales can put old bones to rest. Sickness, then. Poor man. It wore him down. That, and the long count of years he measured out. So, Jocasta, why? Why look to the prophet's hearth? Fires of the future. They're nothing. Worthless. There. Didn't I tell you from the start? So you did, but I was lost in fear. No more. Slip it from your mind forever. But my mother's bed. Surely I must fear. Fear? What should a man fear? It's all chance. Chance rules our lives. Not a man on earth can see a day ahead groping through the dark. Better to live at random, best we can. Have no fear. Take such things for shadows, nothing at all. Live, Oedipus, as if there's no tomorrow. Brave words. And you have persuaded me if mother weren't still alive. But she lives, so for all your reassurances, I live in fear. I must. By your father's death, that at least is a great blessing. Joy to the eyes. Great, I know. But she lives. I must fear. Wait, who's this woman makes you so afraid? Merope, old man, the wife of Polybus. The queen? What's there to fear in her? A dreadful prophecy. Strange, but sent by the gods. Tell me, could you? Unless it's forbidden for others to hear. Not at all. Apollo told me once. It was my fate. To make love with my mother, and to shed my father's blood with my own hands. So for years, I've given Corinth a wide berth. And to my good fortune, too. But still, to see one's parents, and look into their eyes, is the greatest joy I've known. You're afraid of that? That kept you out of Corinth? He calls himself the serpent of, if I remember rightly, Laius. The king of this land, who ruled long ago? That's the one. The herdsman was his man. Is he still alive? Can I see him? They know best the people of these parts. Does anyone know that herdsman? The one he mentioned? The time has come to reveal this once and for all. Jocasta, do you remember the man we just sent for? Is that the one he means? That man. Why ask? Old shepherd, talk, empty nonsense. Don't give another thought. Don't even think. What? Give up now? With a clue like this? Fail to solve the mystery of my birth? Not for all the world. Stop. In the name of God, if you love your own life, call off the search. My suffering is enough. Courage. Even if my mother turns out to be a slave, and I a slave, three generations back, you would not seem common. Oh no, I beg you, listen to me. Please don't do this. Listen to you? No more. I must know it all. I must see the truth at last. No, please, for your sake. I want the best for you. Your best is more than I can bear. You're doomed. May you never fathom who you are.